This tutorial is going to walk you through how to create clean graphic lines tracing an image as you're working uh, in Photoshop. So you should have this picture up on your screen right now downloaded to begin working with. And the first thing I'm going to do is select my paintbrush tool on the tool panel over here. That's what we'll be working with to uh, trace the image and trace the lines. Um, a couple of things you need to do to adjust the settings of your paintbrush. I'm going to choose um, one of my paintbrushes that has just a regular um, hard edge around it. And then I'm going to adjust the size to around uh, probably 20, 30 uh, for this, just so you can actually see the lines that are being traced over my image. And then I'm going to choose a color. I'm just going to start with uh, black for right now. Then I'm going to hit OK. Uh, the first thing you should always do to your picture every time you're drawing or editing is to duplicate that background image. So I'm going to click with two fingers on my background layer, hit duplicate, and OK. And now I have uh, my backup image to go to in case I don't like the edits that I create. So this is that non-destructive editing. I'm also going to add a new layer, which is where I'm going to be creating my uh, drawing and tracing on top of. So now that I have my new layer created, I can begin uh, tracing my image and drawing on top of that layer. So in case I don't like what I create, I can always go back and undo it. Um, I'm going to start out and just trace over the eye. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit on my picture here to get a closer up detailed version of the eye so that um, it's a little bit easier to work with. So I'm going to select my background copy, uh, zoom in on my eye by holding down command on my keyboard and hitting uh, the plus button at the very top. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, layer, new layer that I created so that I can trace the eye onto that layer. And I'm going to start out and just kind of follow along those lines that I see. So I'm following those darker lines around the eye here. If you find that your paintbrush is a little bit too thick and you want to create uh, your lines using a smaller brush, I would go up to uh, those brush settings again and just take down the size of the brush there to work with. Then you can start tracing again. So again, I'm just going to continue to trace around all of the lines that are visible within my image. Um, everywhere there's kind of that darker outline, I'm just going to trace around it. Uh, so even some of these eyelashes I can outline. If you wanted to make your brush size a little bit smaller as you're tracing um, some of these eyelashes or smaller lines within your image, it might not be a bad idea. I'm going to trace around parts of the eye here. And again, I want to create more of a graphic image, so I'm kind of outlining the highlights and the shadows. I'm going to outline around the outside of the eyebrow here. I'm going to move my uh, view, so the screen a little bit, so that I have the focus more on the nose, so I can start uh, outlining the nose. I'm just tracing around the outside, and again, following along with every line I see, I'm tracing some of the shadows, outlining them. And as you're working, if you wanted to create lines that are not as dark or harsh, if you press a little bit lighter on your tablet, it's going to create lighter lines. And then as you press harder on your tablet, it's going to create the darker lines as well. So now I am outlining around the outside of the lips, just again tracing every line that I see. And trying to connect all of the edges. When it's time to zoom out to look at your image or to select a a bigger area of your picture. If you hold down command and hit minus, you can zoom out again. And then maybe from here I'll trace a little bit more of the outline of the hair. So as I kind of see the hair moving here uh, in the background, I'm going to outline pieces of that. And then I can move on and outline around the chin. So again, just tracing every major area that you see. If there's a shadow, I would outline uh, that shadow as well. So in this picture, I now have everything outlined with those solid lines. Uh, so you can clearly see the shapes of the shadows, the shapes of some of the highlights, and it all has that kind of clean edge around my image. 
Um, there's a couple of different things you can do with your image from here to kind of finalize it. You can, um, since we have it on a new layer, you can move the uh, image that you just traced a little bit. So if you click um, this tool at the very top of your toolbar, the move tool, you can click on that and slide your image a little bit out to the left here into the background. So you can start to see the areas that you traced and how it actually looks. Um, on your final images for this project, you can decide um, if you wanted to trace it in this way, what you can do with your layer. Maybe you want to leave it over top of your image how you had it, or you could do something creative with it off to the side a little bit. Uh, you could maybe even change the size of it so it fits more into the background. Um, since it's on its own layer, I can hold down Command T, which stands for Transform, and uh, holding down Shift, I can click and drag from the corners to shrink the size of my image. Uh, so now I have this image in the background here that I could work with. And kind of moving forward, maybe I could um, finish the outline of the hair. I could uh, maybe fill in some color for it. And just come up with some creative way to uh, make my image that I just traced interact with my uh, overall uh, photograph that I'm working with.